What is going on, beautiful people? How's your day? Hopefully your day is going better than Daphne's. Uh, I'm currently on my way. Actually, I'm here outside her building waiting for her to let me in because her toilet is broke. <laughs> um, she said it's running. She said it won't flush. So I'm guessing that means the lever inside the tank is off of the little chain that causes the flapper. I'll show you guys. If I'm right, I'll show you guys. But if not, then I'll have to put in a work order and uh, get maintenance out here to fix it. Uh, if it if it's what I think it is, then I can fix it. If it's not, then I don't know. Uh, but we'll take a look and I'll teach you guys. Uh, if, if it is a uh, loose, uh, I don't know if it's called like a flush lever or something. I, there's probably some technical term for it, but I'll show you guys when we get in there. Uh, but now I'm just waiting out here. <laughs> it's chilly. There's a plane somewhere. I can't see it. We do live really, really close to the airport, so uh, here lots of planes go by, a uh, bunch of sirens too, like ambulance and fire trucks and police and all that jazz, but you better hurry. It's, see, you guys can see it, it's snowing. I don't know, I don't know if you can see my breath, I could, but it's starting to snow. Um, what, what, I mean, I did some homework today, um, but other than that, I know Daphne went out for brunch with some friends today, uh, maybe she'll talk to you guys a little bit about that, but I'm gonna, I'm, it, it's getting cold, I'm gonna put my hand away, and I'm gonna talk to you guys when I'm in Daphne's room, hopefully fix the toilet. It's not funny, will you, I have to pee. <laughs> All right, well, here, you hold this. I think I know what it is. So, first you gotta take off the back. Of the oh my goodness. Yep. So, if you look, that's what's causing it. So, something isn't sealing right. Oh my gosh. Down in there. Cannot do this today. Okay, so what's going on is that there's not a good enough seal hmm. down here. Mm. So when you flush, yeah, that's how you get water. So when you flush, this yeah. lifts up, this chain opens that valve, that water yeah. goes rushing into your toilet. Okay. So when this is down, this is supposed to create a seal, mm -hmm. which fills it up, which pushes up this ball, uh -huh. which stops the water from running. Okay. So the problem that you're having... I just fix it. I gotta pee. I don't know if I can fix it. Oh my goodness. Oh no. Do you have to go run to my apartment? No, it's okay. I'll see what I can do. Okay. All right, oh. so we're taking uh, Daphne to Aldi's. She's never been to Aldi's, even though she's lives in a town that has an Aldi's. I love Aldi's. It's cheap food and you have to put a little quarter into the carts and she's so excited to put a little quarter in. You ready? Yeah. You're pumped? I'm pumped. Ah, they're revving the wrenching. Put it in? And then mm -hmm. what? Just push it in. Go on. I can't do it. Um, Where did the quarters go? Maybe this one's full. <laughs> did you break it? I didn't break it. Okay, I did it. <laughs> Good job. Rocky. Uh, so, done with Aldi's. How, how was your first Aldi's experience? Um, I really wasn't that impressed. You weren't? No. I, I actually really enjoy Aldi's. It's just very streamlined very quick you can, like get in get out grab all your stuff they leave things in boxes just so you can take the entire freaking box if you want mm -hmm. um, but then I got a few things there then we had to go to walmart and pick up a few things that aldi's didn't have like light bulbs yeah um what else i don't know we picked
cooked up some different meals. I think when we get back, I'm gonna try making a tuna steak, is what they call it. Tonight? Yeah, I'm a little bit hungry. Oh, okay. But we gotta get all, everything. We could've this. got Taco Bell. Yeah, I know. But you're gonna be throwing that up tomorrow. Why would I throw that up tomorrow? Cause you're going, working out with me, right? Um, but no, I saw something, and so it made me think of this, and so I'm going to pose this question to you, and then mm. whoever's watching at this point, and if you are still watching, thank you very much, um, but I'm going to pose this question to you. What is one place, like restaurant-wise, okay. that you really enjoy the food, mm -hmm. but you wish the experience was just better like the experience just ruins mm. the place for you but like if the experience were to be better like it'd be the best place ever like food is you really enjoy the food it's just the environment or I don't even know just the experience is just not good what what when I say that what place comes to mind because I have a specific place in my head I really can't think of anything. You can't think of any place that would like uh, no. that you enjoy the food, just the experience there isn't the best. No, no you can't. The place I was thinking of was Steak and Shake. Oh, uh, see, I enjoy Steak and Shake. See, I love Ste Steak and Shake's food is fantastic. I love it. Um, they're like Frisco sliders. Oh my lord, like fantastic. But it's just gotten to the point like where my family has change the name to steak and wait where it takes 45 minutes to get your food like the past I guess I could say Buffalo Wild Wings B-dubs yeah. that's the same for you yeah see and like with me like not to knock on B-dubs but like I don't think they're I all that love like hyped up ugh. to be like <laughs> I love their fried pickles well okay and I very thoroughly enjoy their bonus wings I, I think there are places that have better wings. Well, no, I'm not saying they're top tier, but um, I very I much think, enjoy them. Well, I don't know. I watch this channel called Rhett and Link. I know a lot of you probably know who Rhett and Link are, but they did like a like a wing, uh, not like a battle, but just they got wings from all these different places and just compared them. And I think they named Wingstop as the best place for wings. I don't think there's one around us. Maybe there is. Um, Sadie said they went to Wings Etc. here uh -huh. in Fort Wayne. They said that place was really good. Um, hmm. So maybe we'll have to try that out sometimes if you like boneless wings. Yeah. But no, Steak and Shake is my place that like, it just takes forever. And like, just the experience there, like, and maybe yeah. it's just the places like where I've gone, but like the past three times, Yet again, I can't even tell you the last time I've been to Steak and Shake. Just because it's, like, it's just been ruined for me like that. Mm -hmm. But. We, we usually just, I think the last time we had Steak and Shake, I think we just went through the drive through Because our Steak and Shake is in Troy, I think. Okay. Or Piqua. Right. And so, like, if we went shopping that day, and we already had, like, a nicer, like, lunch type thing... And we had gone to like JC Penney's mm -hmm. or stuff like that. We just went through steak and shake and get like fries and a drink or something. Yeah, see, like milkshakes, fantastic. They have fantastic milkshakes. Which, I like their French fries a lot. Which they with should have. Seasoning. They should have good milkshakes if that is what they are built on. Like, mm -hmm. um, but no, that that's the place. Like, if I could pick one place to improve just the experience, yeah, and like to match the quality of food. Mm-hmm. All right, I guess that's another way to put it. What What's one place where the quality of food does not match the experience that you have while in... Mm -hmm. So, I guess, yeah, that's it. But we're back on campus now. Well, not on campus, student housing. Um, going to go bring our groceries in because uh, we did get a lot of freezer stuff, but freezer yeah. stuff is usually, it's nice, even though you can just throw it in the freezer and let it sit there until you... We're going to go run that in, and I will catch back with you guys when I am in the process of searing a uh, tuna steak. So, you guys stay tuned. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh wait. I'll try it. All right, guys. So, uh, where's the remote? Is the remote still over there? It should be next to your pig, your your face up there. Ow! I'm I'm gonna turn it off. Watching football. Ah. Uh, Green Bay Packers lost today. Buccaneers going to the Super Bowl. Right now, the Kansas City Chiefs and the Buffalo Bills are playing. But uh, just wrapping up the day. Uh, what did you think of the tuna? Good. It was good? You liked it? I'm surprised uh, she even tried it. What? Are you sleepy? No. <laughs> you just yawned. I yawn like all the time. Mm-hmm. Because you're sleepy all the time. No. Anyways, we found these at Walmart. They're called pinguinos, I think. Pinguinos. Pinguinos, the Spanish word for penguin. And they look like this. They're just like, I'm guessing the Mexican word for, or the Mexican version of ding dongs, the hostess no. cupcake things or whatever. The frosting tastes like slightly different. You, you taste slightly different. What? But yes, it's just a ding dong. I can't say I know if it tastes different or not because I haven't. I don't remember the last time I've had a. These feel less chocolatey. Oh, that's fantastic. Mmm. So delicious. Usually the ding dongs give me heartburn. You give me heartburn? Because of how like sugary they are. Mm -hmm. But this tastes a little less. Apparently two of them is considered a serving. Mm. There's 310 calories in two of them. Huh. And 39 grams of sugar. Mm. Mm, delicious. Oh. What? This is going to be the last one I'm going to have in a while. So tomorrow I'm getting back now into the gym. Now why did you buy them? Because I wanted to try them. It's a big old pack, son. Yeah. Oh. And they're delicious, though. I know. Well, you have them on your cheat day. Mm hmm But, anyways. Tomorrow, I'm getting back in the gym, 6.30. You going? Yeah. You are? Yeah. I guess she'll be there too. So, I'll give you guys a fact of the day because I still have it. I don't know if you know this. So, recently, Florida International University, FIU, mm. has trained dogs to smell COVID. Hmm. There are certain dogs. Well, like, I've heard of dogs that are, like, able to, like, sniff, like, low blood sugar yeah. or seizures or mm -hmm. stuff like that. They've trained dogs to sniff out COVID with like 95, 99% accuracy. Wow. I don't know how it's possible, but they have. So now the, like the Miami Heat basketball team are now having dogs stationed at their entrances mm. to s smell for, or they have to screen all, all the fans who come in. Can they just smell like... I, I don't know how overall or individual people like no they can like go up and so like people. go if they had like a line of 10 people they could go up and smell each individual person or whatever and mm -hmm. say and probably bark or whatever when that one person has COVID or whatever mm. and I don't know if like they're really able cool. to pick it up on like surfaces or whatever mm. so if like you touch something and then they smell that then they freak it I don't know really cool. yeah it's actually really cool uh yeah, it. I, I I don't understand like how dogs can just smell that. Or, but like mm -hmm. there's like even different things like with animal intuition. Like animals will know like when you're pregnant and mm -hmm. just different things. Or like I was saying like with the seizures or the low blood sugar, like they can like sense it. And... Or they can sense the supernatural. Mm-hmm. Okay. Saying. Anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, don't be afraid. Hit the like button down below. Uh, share with everyone. Week three of s the semester starts tomorrow. It doesn't feel like two weeks already. Yeah, it's been two weeks.
That's you know that? been like two weeks. It has been. But I hope you guys have enjoyed. And I and her will see all of you tomorrow on another day in the life of Don Bog. Peace.